dear students today we are going to learn drawing a circle in autocad so since we are supposed to draw something we will go into draw menu circle command and we have six different methods to draw circle out of six looking at our engineering drawing or engineering graphics syllabus first two are sufficient to use so we'll look at first center comma radius method here once you give the command software will ask for center point for the circle that you can see on your command line right so let us give a center point over here i have drawn two center lines to draw my circle and the intersection of those two center line is my center point so i have selected that center point intersecting point as a center and now it is asking me radius of the circle look at the command line over here now in the field which is visible over here in the view color that is showing 16 i am entering 28 to draw my circle with the radius of 28 similarly we can draw using second option draw circle center comma diameter same way again it is asking for center point for the circle selecting this intersecting point as a center and giving the diameter now look at your command line it is asking for specified diameter of the circle so i'm giving diameter as 56 so again it will draw the circle as we want now further sometimes we have a small quarter circle over here or like over here this is one of the problems which we have in our engineering drawing book and for this i have drawn front view now we want two arms over here there are multiple ways to draw this quarter circle first is you can draw a circle over here and you can trim the remaining part same way over here you can draw a circle over here and you can trim the remaining part you can erase the unwanted part other way is to use arc command so let's say what is arc command now see there are multiple ways to draw an arc you can try one by one all of them where you are supposed to give start point end point and angle of the arc or start point end point and uh, center point of the arc different different options are available over here so right now we will be using start point end point and the radius so i'm giving a command for an arc start point end point and the radius so look over here now we have this as a start point this as an end point now it will draw in an anti-clockwise manner by default but that you can change as per your convenience so let me select this as my start point this as my end point and now it is asking me for the radius so i'm giving my radius as 8 enter fine similarly you can draw it over here it it can draw clockwise and clockwise both the ways so you need to check the settings for that now again draw arc start point end point and the radius now i want my arc over here so i'll select this as a start point this as an end point and this will be asking for the radius now over here you can check your requirements all the time in the command line now it is asking me specify radius of the arc so I'm giving the radius as 8. That's it. Now, this same thing, that quarter circle over here, you can draw with the fillet command also. Now, that fillet command is used when you have drawn complete lines over here. What does it mean? Let me draw lines over here first. Lines for the distance 8 over here. And then line over here for 8. And now I'm removing this curve which I have drawn using arc method. Now same arc you can bring using fillet command. Since you have drawn something and you are supposed to change it, that means you are supposed to go to modify menu. We have a fillet command over here. Fillet. Now look at your command line. The current settings for the fillet is mode equals to trim and radius equals to zero. First of all, you need to change the radius. So I'm entering R, enter. Now it is asking me specify fillet radius. Look at the command line. I'm giving an input as in 8 millimeters. Enter. Now we have one more 
setting over here trim. Now what does it mean trim over here? More equals to trim. It represents that after making an arc, unwanted lines will be removed from there. You can check it over here. So now let's uh, have a trial of that. Select first object. After giving the radius, your next task is to give the select first object. Let me select this as a first object. And it is asking for second object. Second, selecting this second object. And immediately it will give you output that curve is drawn with radius 8 and the unwanted lines now has been removed. That is the command trim. That is the mode of the fillet trim that you can change from your drafting settings. We have a drafting settings in the tools menu, drafting settings. So all of your drawing settings, you can change it from here. Your multiple objects over here, you can change it everything from here. You can set your settings according to your requirement. So today we have learned about to drawing a circle using center comma radius and the center comma diameter method. We used, we learned uh, one of the methods to draw an arc that is start point, end point and radius and other multiple ways are also there to draw an arc that you need to use as per your requirement and third we have learned using command fillet. That's it. Thank you.